Hi everyone, this is the start of week six, and so the end of this week you will be one third of the way through the semester, so well done. Although it does seem like a lot of our first six weeks is doing base, really basic stuff, so after this uh, it will get in some ways more difficult. However, this week, atomic model and quantum theory, I don't want you to be afraid of the name of the week. So let's talk about what's coming up. Um, we're going to look at energy levels and electrons this week um, and what goes on inside of the atom. So this week is a little different. Uh, there are four assignments, but I would say, tell you that these first two are quizzes, and I will get those due dates listed up there. The first two are quizzes that are set for unlimited attempts, and um, it will take your highest score. So on these first, and they are just simply to check in after you have finished the reading to make sure you understand it. So if you finish it and I grade it and you don't do well, I want you to review the reading and then take it again. Always uh, in between attempts, either contact me or wait for me to grade. Don't just keep taking quizzes again and again because uh, you're just guessing. You need to do something in between your takes. Okay. Um, so because there are four things due this week, you want, and there's definitely some reading. You're going to read chapter 4, section 1, chapter 4, section 2, and then there's some things to do online. You can't do all of this in one day. You want to space it out throughout the week and work through that. So the last two quizzes are only, these two are only set for two attempts, and it will take your highest score. But again, don't take those two attempts back to back. I want you to do some review, contact me, whatever, in between, so that your second score is a higher one and you make that second attempt matter. All right, so just to look inside of the week, I'll go down. Um, Schrodinger's cat is a really good start. Um, then from there, you're gonna go into intro to atomic or orbitals. Uh, the Bright Storm videos are really good, so a lot of them I can't embed because they have forbidden the right to embed on their YouTube site. Some of them I can, so when I can, I do, but um, this one you can't, so I can't, so make sure you follow the link and watch it because they are. she is really good. They're just really good at explaining everything, okay? So start by watching that. Um, then you're going to read chapter four, section one in your book. Pay attention to these words as we go through. Um, Bohr model is discussed, so that you do need to know. Um, and then there's a short quiz that will just go over those things in that reading. So make sure you read it. Then you're going to read chapter four, section two. Um, about the quantum model, and then there's just a few short questions about that. And then uh, there's a crash course video here on orbitals because we're gonna start talking about electron orbitals then. So you do need to watch that. I realize that sometimes Hank Green goes into way more detail than you need to know, but pay attention to the basic stuff in there. Uh, then filling electron diagrams part one and part two on these pages there's an animated tutorial I believe this is one from your book How do light yes and it is light so I'm gonna close this up remember to do those tutorials I could tell on last week's quiz some of you did not watch the tutorial when you turned in your assignment um, so go through these Again, make sure you're watching the videos. There's a worksheet here. This is guided practice for you. If we were in the brick and mortar, you would be required to do this in class. So I am trusting that you will do it so that you know how to do things when you get to the end of the week. Um, then the energy level quiz. I'm just looking, there's no links here. Just a review on what 
uh, would be on that quiz. And then we're going to start talking about valence electrons. So there's a Google presentation followed by a video. You need to watch these. This is a link to an online quiz to kind of quiz yourself about things. So that's actually a really good thing to do as well. Um, and then there's the valence electron quiz. So four things do. They're all due on separate days. Um, so like Thursday, Friday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Monday, you have something due. So stay on top of it. Don't get behind this week. Don't plan on doing it all in one day. Let me know if you have questions.